This video is made in collaboration with Knowledgeia. Consider checking out his channel and also subscribe if you find his content interesting. Because I don't think any animal has a chance in front of the elephant, I chose to compare it to the human. Elephants do not have a choice about the impact of their existence. They destroy plants and trees for things that could be of benefit, trample water sources into muddy pools, and create long winding trails that stamp out any form of growth. They do this so that they can function as elephants. They need to eat a large amount to sustain their nutrition levels, they need to drink massive amounts in order to hydrate themselves, and they need to wander so that they can continually find fertile new land on which to impact their change. Human beings are similar to elephants in many ways, particularly in that our existence also has a large impact on the earth. Like the elephant, we eat large amounts, we utilize water for drinking, bathing and pleasure, and we trample new lands in our expansive wanderings. The key difference is that our change does not create opportunity, but rather takes it away. Throughout history, humans have used different animals for their benefits, including wars and battles. For rapid transportation, large armies used horses and camels, and those animals were used in combat as well. But there were situations in our history where elephants were conscripted in ancient and medieval armies. A war elephant was an elephant that was trained and guided by humans for combat. The war elephant's main use was to charge the enemy, breaking their ranks and instilling terror. Elephantry were military units with elephant-mounted troops. War elephants played a critical role in several key battles in antiquity, but their use declined with the spread of firearms in the early modern period. One can safely say that the morale of the troops and the sharpness of the generals were a key point in the maneuverability of war elephants. But speaking just about the elephants themselves, they were a weapon. The war elephants were dominant on the battlefield. Firstly, they provoked fear through enemies. Their impressive size and the loud sounds made were directly against the morale of the other soldiers. War elephants were a huge advantage in ancient battles. As an example, war elephants scattered Roman cavalry on the plains. Hannibal used them in the Second Punic War, and they were most used in North Africa, India, and southeastern Asia. When Europeans clashed with those civilizations, they were impressed by the size of the elephants and by their effectiveness. The first confrontation between Europeans and the Persian war elephants occurred at Alexander's Battle of Gaugamela in 331 BC. The Persians deployed 15 elephants. These elephants were placed at the center of the Persian line and made such an impression on Alexander's army that he felt the need to sacrifice to the god of fear that night before the battle. Alexander won the battle, but was deeply impressed by the enemy elephants and took them into his army. More were added during his campaign. When the action began, the elephant would charge forward directly into the center of the army. If the attack was successful and they didn't panic, the impact was huge. No man nor cavalry could stand in the front of a charging war elephant. Their size was a true force to be reckoned with, and their tusks were powerful weapons that killed tens of soldiers in seconds. The elephants caused many losses with their tusks, fitted sometimes with iron spikes or by lifting the enemies with their trunks and trampling them. Many soldiers were killed or wounded in these charges, and huge gaps were created in the army the whole enemy formation would be destabilized. The infantry was next in line, while the cavalry was more used to flank its enemies. The successful military use of elephants spread further and were continued to be used in the next centuries. Of course, they could be defeated. First and foremost, they attracted the most attention on the battlefield, and they had to be stopped in the first phases of the confrontation. Large spikes were used against them, but it took some time to down a massive creature like this. A single soldier would have had little chances against one war elephant, 
But the wars were about numbers, and many elephants perished in combat due to a multitude of hits from different directions, but sometimes not before giving major damage to the enemy army by killing and wounding tens or sometimes hundreds of soldiers. Elephants Facts Elephants are the largest land animals on Earth, and they are one of the most unique-looking animals, too. With their characteristic long noses or trunks, large floppy ears, and wide thick legs, there is no other animal with a similar physique. Most experts recognize two species of elephant. The Asian elephant and the African elephant, who live on separate continents and have many unique features. African elephants live in sub-Saharan Africa, the rainforests of Central and West Africa, and the Sahel Desert in Mali. Asian elephants live in Nepal, India, and Southeast Asia, in scrub forests and rainforests. African elephants are the larger of the two species. They grow to between 8.2 and 13 feet, 2.5 and 4 meters, tall at the shoulder, and weigh 5,000 to 14,000 pounds, 2,268 to 6,350 kilograms. Asian elephants are just a little smaller, growing to between 6.6 .6 and 9.3 feet, 2 and 3 meters, tall at the shoulder, and weighing between 4,500 and 11,000 pounds, 2,041 and 4,990 kilograms. In the wild, African elephants can live up to 70 years, and Asian elephants up to 60 years. They are considered an extremely intelligent species, and have been observed showing advanced problem-solving skills and demonstrating empathy, mourning, and self-awareness. Humans and Elephants Interaction In India, up to 300 people may be killed annually in human-elephant conflicts. Because most areas that form elephant habitat or range within Asia are close to or adjoining human settlement, there is often conflict between animals migrating or foraging for food and local people. Elephant-human conflict poses a grave threat to their continued existence. Studies on conflict between elephants and humans in Asia and Africa have identified crop raiding as the main form of conflict. Elephant-human conflict is a result of habitat loss and fragmentation. When elephants and humans interact, there is conflict from crop raiding, injuries and deaths to humans caused by elephants, and elephants being killed by humans for reasons other than ivory and habitat degradation. Elephants cause damage amounting from a few thousand dollars to millions of dollars. Every year, 100 humans and 40 to 50 elephants are killed during crop raiding in India. Such encounters foster resentment against the elephants amongst the human population, and this can result in elephants being viewed as a nuisance and killed. This was illustrated in the case of more than 60 elephants found dead in retaliation incidents in northeast India and Sumatra in 2001, poisoned by plantation workers. Human-elephant conflict can take their toll both on human lives and property, as well as elephant populations. Ways of reducing or resolving such conflicts are vital for the viable conservation of Asian elephants. Elephants across Asia live in a variety of habitats and landscapes. These include large contiguous areas surrounded by crop fields, or in highly degraded areas with other agricultural encroachments, and they are also found in fragmented landscapes with a mosaic of crop fields, plantations, and patches of forest. In addition to these direct conflicts between humans and elephants, elephants also suffer indirect costs 
like degradation of habitat and loss of food plants. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button.